Cassius Dio or Dio Cassius, c. 155 c. 235 was a Roman statesman and historian of Greek origin. He published 80 volumes of history on ancient Rome, beginning with the arrival of Aeneas in Italy. The volumes documented the subsequent founding of Rome 753 BC, the formation of the Republic 509 BC, and the creation of the Empire 31 BC, up until 229 AD. Written in ancient Greek over 22 years, Dio's work covers approximately 1,000 years of history. Many of his 80 books have survived intact, or as fragments, providing modern scholars with a detailed perspective on Roman history. Topic. Biography Lucius Cassius Dio was the son of Cassius Apronianus, a Roman senator, who was born and raised at Nicaea in Bithynia. Byzantine tradition maintains that Dio's mother was the daughter or sister of the Greek orator and philosopher, Dio Chrysostom, however, this relationship has been disputed. Lucius is often identified as Dio's prenomen, but a Macedonian inscription, published in 1970, reveals the abbreviation. C.L. Presumably Claudius. Although Dio was a Roman citizen, he wrote in Greek. Dio always maintained a love for his hometown of Nicaea, calling it his home, as opposed to his description of his villa in Italy, my residence in Italy. For the greater part of his life, Dio was a member of the public service. He was a senator under Commodus and governor of Smyrna following the death of Septimius Severus. He became a suffect consul in approximately the year 205. Dio was also proconsul in Africa and Pannonia. Severus Alexander held Dio in the highest esteem and reappointed him to the position of consul, even though his caustic nature irritated the Praetorian guards, who demanded his life. Following his second consulship, while in his later years, Dio returned to his native country, where he eventually died. Dio was either the grandfather or great-grandfather of Cassius Dio, consul in 291. Topic. Roman history Dio published a Roman history, Romaicae Historia Historia Romana, in 80 books, after 22 years of research and labor. The books cover a period of approximately 1,400 years, beginning with the tales from Roman mythology of the arrival of the legendary Aeneas in Italy c. 1200 BC and the founding of Rome by his descendant Romulus 753 BC, as well as the historic events of the Republican and Imperial eras through 229 AD. The work is one of only three written Roman sources that document the British revolt of AD 60–61 led by Boudicca. Until the 1st century BC, Dio provides only a summary of events, after that period, his accounts become more detailed. From the time of Commodus ruled AD 180-192, Dio is very circumspect in his conveyance of the events that he witnessed. In the 21st century, fragments remain of the first 36 books, including considerable portions of both Book 35 on the War of Lucullus against Mithridates VI of Pontus and 36 on the War with the Pirates and the Expedition of Pompey against the King of Pontus. The books that follow, Books 37 through 54, are nearly all complete, they cover the period from 65 BC to 12 BC, or from the Eastern Campaign of Pompey and the death of Mithridates to the death of Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa. Book 55 contains a considerable gap, while books 56 through 60 which cover the period from AD 9 through 54 are complete and contain events from the defeat of Varus in Germany to the death of Claudius. Of the 20 subsequent books in the series, there remain only fragments and the meager abridgment of John Zifolinus, a monk from the 11th century. The abridgment of Zifolinus, as now extant, commences with Book 35 and continues to the end of Book 80. It is a very indifferent performance and was made by order of the Emperor Michael VII Doukas. The last book covers the period from 222 to 229, the first half of the reign of Alexander Severus. The fragments of the first 36 books, as they have been collected, consist of four kinds. Fragment of Valesiana, fragments that were dispersed throughout various writers, scholiasts, grammarians, and lexicographers, and were collected by Henri Valois. Fragmenta Peresciana, large extracts, found in the section entitled, Of Virtues and Vices, contained in the collection, or portative library, compiled by order of Constantine VII Porphyrogenitus. The manuscript of this belonged to Nicolas Claude Fabri de Peiresque. 
The fragments of the first 34 books, preserved in the second section of the same work by Constantine, entitled Of Embassies, these are known under the name of Fragmenta Ursiniana, as the manuscript in which they are contained was found in Sicily by Fulvio Orsini. Excerpta Vaticana by Angelo Mai, contains fragments of books 1-35 and 61-80. Additionally, fragments of an unknown continuator of Dio anonymous post generally identified with the 6th century historian, Peter the Patrician, are included, these date from the time of Constantine. Other fragments from Dio that are primarily associated with the first 34 books were found by Mai in two Vatican MSS, these contain a collection that was compiled by Maximus Planudes. The Annals of Joannes Zoneras also contain numerous extracts from Dio. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Literary style. Dio attempted to emulate Thucydides in his writing style. Dio's style, where there appears to be no corruption of the text, is generally clear though full of Latinisms. Dio's writing was underpinned by a set of personal circumstances whereby he was able to observe significant events of the empire in the first person, or had direct contact with the key figures who were involved. See also Celts Inaugural Games of the Flavian Amphitheatre Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Alders, G. J. D. nineteen eighty six Cassius Dio and the Greek World Nemozine thirty nine to two hundred eighty two minus three hundred four Baltison, Han, two thousand two Matricide Revisited, Dramatic and Rhetorical Allusion in Tacitus, Suetonius and Cassius Dio. Antichthon 36-30-40. Eisman, M. M. 1977. Dio and Josephus, Parallel Analyses. Latimus 36-657-673. Gleason, Maud, 2011. Identity Theft, Doubles and Masquerades in Cassius Dio's Contemporary History. Classical Antiquity 30.1, 33-86. Going, Alan M. 1990. Dio's Name. Classical Philology 85-49-54. Cordos, Joseph, 2010. Thucydidean Elements in Cassius Dio. Acta Antiqua Academiae Scientiarum Hungaricae 50.2 minus 3 to 249 minus 256. Malin, C. T. 2013. Cassius Dio on Julia Domna: A Study of the Political and Ethical Functions of Biographical Representation in Dio's Roman History. Nemozine 66.4 to 5, 734 to 760. McDougall, Ian. 1991. Dio and his sources for Caesar's campaigns in Gaul. Latimus 50 to 616 minus 638. Miller, F. G. B. 1964. A study of Cassius Dio. Oxford, Oxford Univ. Press. Murison, C. L. 1999. Rebellion and Reconstruction: Galba to Domitian: An Historical Commentary on Cassius Dio's Roman History. Books 64 to 67, AD 68 to 96, Atlanta, Scholars Press. Topic: External links. Media related to Cassius Dio at Wikimedia Commons. Cassius Dio, Encyclopædia Britannica, 8, 11th ed., 1911, pp. 278 to 279. Works written by or about Cassius Dio at Wikisource Works by Cassius Dio at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Cassius Dio at Internet Archive Cassius Dio, Roman History English translation on Lacuscursius Works by Cassius Dio at Perseus Digital Library Greek text and French translation Dio Cassius, the manuscripts of the Roman History Adidio Princeps, Dionys Romanarum Historiarum Libri 23, a 36 ad LVIII VSQUE The Roman History, Greek text edited by Robert Estian, Paris, 1548.
held by the Corning Museum of Glass. Adidio Princeps of Ziphilinus's Epitome, Robert Estian, Paris, 1551, at Google Books.